वेलकम बैक गाइज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल टेक्निक्स एंड रिमेम्बर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बेसिकली द प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोचेज टू माइक्रोबायोलॉजी लेबोरेटरी नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ वाट अबाउट द डिफरेंट कल्चर एंड वाई वी टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट कल्चर एंड हाउ टू कल्चर बैक्टीरिया ना स्पेशली इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कल्चर अ बैक्टीरिया एक्चुअली हाउ टू प्योर प्योरीफाई और टेक आउट अ पर्टिकुलर स्पीसीज ऑफ बैक्टीरिया फ्रॉम रेस्ट ऑफ द अदर्स विच इज कॉल्ड हाउ टू ऑप्टेन अ प्योर कल्चर राइट सो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट प्योर कल्चर टेक्निक्स ओके सो प्रीवियसली वन यू टॉक अबाउट कल्चरिंग बैक्टीरिया ऑल दोज टेक्निक्स आर रिलेटेड टू मिक्सड कल्चर प्रोसेस राइट मिक्सड कल्चर मीन्स वट वट वी यूजली नो दैट वी आर हैविंग अ पेट्री अगर प्लेट वट एवर पेट्री डिश विच इज फील्ड विद अगर एंड ऑल दोज न्यूट्रिएंट मीडिया Now in this nutrient agar once we streak it or we can spread it whatever it will give us uh, uh, different types of colony right now those those colony that we get most of the time they are mixed they are of mixed bacteria that means filled with different types of bacteria different species of bacteria and but what we want from that mixed variety of bacteria we want to separate out each bacteria into different agar plate right for example in this plate we are having three types of bacteria for example bacterial colonies Uh, start to form let's say uh, this is one type of bacterial colonies this is another type of colonies look something like this this larger ones in this case and let's say another type of colony which is very very smaller so we are having this three different types of colony in this uh, media in this culture actually and actually you are going to see those are mixed with each other in this way so that uh, as they are mixed with each other like this because they are spreading throughout the plate we we can't really can rely on one of this colony uh, as a pure because this plate is completely uh, surrounded by all these three different types of colonies right so what we need to do here we need to separate out each of them in a different region actually for example in this case we just take out this orange one because suppose orange one is our desired colony desired bacteria we want to make a pure culture of this orange colony so what to do that right because what we know about this colony these are called colony forming units or cfu remember cfu or colony forming unit means we actually derive it in this way that once the bacteria start to grow there is one bacteria and from that one bacteria it becomes two bacteria from those two bacteria it becomes four bacteria now from those four it is becoming eight from eight to 16 and so on you can see it is exponentially increasing the number that's how uh, the growth of bacteria actually works the exponential increase up to a particular time then it will uh, go to the stationary phase and other things are like that so for that reason if there is one bacteria ultimately after a particular time it will start growing into a multiple number of bacteria and once there is one only one bacteria we cannot see this single bacteria onto the plate but once there are many bacteria for example from this one it becomes 2000 bacteria and we can visualize uh, the array of 2000 bacteria as one colony and this thing we call it a colony forming so that's why each of the single bacteria that forms one colony is termed as a colony forming unit because this is one unit and it can form a colony so colony forming unit so one colony uh, we actually think that one colony is equals to kind of one cell because it starts the journey with one cell so that's how it actually comes for our calculation now in this case we want to separate out this uh, orange color colony and we want to make a pure culture of that so how to do that actually in for for this what we require we require another completely new freshly prepared agar media right so we take this media and so this is a fresh plate remember fresh media and on to this fresh media we are going to streak this bacteria of our interest by taking it using a loop now remember for this step we need to sterilize the loop and everything sterilization is completely done properly that's common word that's i'm not going to tell you sterilize this sterile this we're not going to say But once we're talking about any instrument in microbiology it should be sterile most of the cases right purposes so what we do we just simply take uh, one isolated colony because remember 
this plate is seem to be very much isolated actually the plates never comes like this because they are kind of uh, they are kind of haphazardly everything is placed one by another one after another the very very crowdy plates normally the plates become very cloudy and nasty everything is everything is just placed in different regions throughout the plate so it's very difficult to pick out one single colony if they are isolated then we don't need to do anything much but normally in that case they are not isolated so they are kind of uh, kind of you can see very crowdy so what we need to do we need to find as isolated as we can so you see here in this case this one this one is a little bit isolated so let's take out uh, one loop full of culture from this and we are going to place it onto this fresh fresh media and how to get a pure culture the best way to get isolated colonies are uh, different streaking methods remember spread pet will not give you that amount of isolated colony usually to find isolated colony we rely on streaking or uh, remember streak plate method right so we rely on streak plate method now one, one, once we what we can do that once we take a loop full of bacteria from this isolated kind of isolated colony then what we need to do we need to we need to streak it throughout this like this so once we've done this process so what we get we put it into the incubator for 24 hours at uh, remember 37 degrees Celsius temperature then we take it out we can see the different colonies because after that what what kind of result we can see in the plate after this the growth is done what we are going to see we are going to see a fair amount of results and that's going to be something like that so the colonies of you remember the colonies are of this color so we are going to see colonies like like this they will be filled with from this on we are going to see this are this is a kind of result we are going to observe now you can see throughout this place once we start streaking those will be merged with each other because th there is a huge load of bacteria at the very beginning but at the end as we are driving this that that loop as we are moving that loop the load of bacteria eventually distributed through the agar surface and it is becoming very less so at the end we are going to get this isolated ones now you probably may not get isolated ones in the very first streaking so what we need to do we need to take it again and streak it again into the another flesh fresh bed until and unless you get only one type of colony for example if you took this culture correctly then you will probably end up with only one type of colony on your plate but suppose you just contaminate this culture while you're taking this up you take a little amount of this green with it so as a result what will happen it will give you the green colonies too in this different region some green colonies then it, it is no longer be uh, the pure culture it's again a mixed culture of two then again to exclude that green one out you need to take you need to again select one isolated one from here again restrict it so you need to do this job again and again until and unless you get one culture of bacteria into one plate so that's your desirable thing in one plate you're going, going to take only one type of culture only one type of bacteria not the others right so once you get that that's desirable you're okay with this and that's how you can isolate the pure culture the best way for that usually what we do pure culture isolation is very very important because for any task you need to separate out the bacteria you want to deal with right because all the time suppose you are separating out bacteria from soil right so soil is a huge reservoir of bacteria many different varieties of bacteria are there so you need to dissolve the soil you take out it you you just plating it into agar media so you will end up with getting huge number of colonies very very crowded plates so from those cloud crowdy players you need to carefully take out each of the different types of variety you are you are going to work with on to separate agar media by this kind of streaking once you do this you will separate out independently once you get the independent culture media independent cultured bacteria then you start to work with them otherwise you can't work with because they are everything mixed you need to separate them first that's why pure culture isolation is very very important and this is the process of isolating pure culture streak plate method works very very best and streak plate is not only the streaking I, I've shown you here there are many different varieties of streak plate methods to get isolated colonies to get a good kind of culturing and I can show you that uh, the different way that one one way that I've shown you the simple streaking otherwise there are many ways like like I'm going to show you now so normally what what are the streaking so normally what you can get you can see this kind of situation that you just take it and you uh, 
you simply take the load of bacteria into a particular region suppose you just take the load of bacteria you put it here you just put it here with the loop then you uh, then you heat the loop so that nothing remains in the loop every bacteria that remains in the loop just getting killed then you take from this load you just drag it like this you just drag it once this dragging is done you need to rotate it you need to rotate this bit slightly and again you start doing this from this end so again you are uh, you are just incinerating the loop that means incineration means you need to uh, sterilize the loop by dipping it into the alcohol and putting into the heat and then again you are taking the culture load from this area and you are dragging it like this after this is done again you are rotating the plate and you are dragging from here so that's how you can do and finally you are dragging from this end you are dragging from so the ultimately at the end you are getting a plate looks something like that and you probably seen this plate in, in internet in google images probably many times and this is a different variety of streaking method right so this is a different again in this way you are you are once every time you are you are dipping the loop uh, and you are incinerating the loop it means you are reducing the load and this is a very very good way to isolate uh, uh, to get the isolated uh, bacteria it's very very effectively otherwise this normal streaking may end up with your uh, may end up with this merging or lawn type of colonies but in this case you are going to get very small tiny and very beautiful colonies right so this thing is very well you can also rely on uh, rely on streaking called quadrant method you can go for the quadrant one so for for the quadrant streaking what you can do you can you can divide kind of you can divide your agar plate into four sections if you are a beginner you can do it with a marker from outside the plate uh, to make sure that everything is fine otherwise if you are a pro you don't need to uh, actually mark it you can visualize it on your mind and you can do this task so what you need to do then you need to uh, start streaking like this so you just making this quadrant available like this this is one way so after this process is done what you will do just take the loop out you are again uh, hitting the loop to kill every organism then take this from this so you're taking again remember you're taking the culture load from the previous one and again streaking onto the next and again then hitting the loop again taking it from this way and hitting it here then again taking it from this way you are dragging it and hitting it there like this okay this should be a much better streaking but anyways so this is the another way of streaking it so this is called quadrant streaking quadrant streaking right different methods of streaking are there simple methods are there and these are the two methods that I have talked about usually I prefer this method because this is very good the plate looks very good and also you can go for this one right and again the main idea remains the same in all these three cases once you're starting uh, to streak uh, the load of bacteria that you're dealing with is very high and as you're moving you're just reducing the load so that you're getting isolated colonies because if the load of bacteria is higher you're going to end up with huge amount of bacteria in a colony and it will probably merge with each other and it's not desirable guys so for that you need to get away with some kind of techniques so that the load of bacteria can be distributed and in both these three different processes that I've talked about the same thing is occurring right and this latter two processes you are burning the loop each time so it is reducing again the load a little bit amount so that's why they give you good results in such a condition but remember for getting isolated colonies is not only the streaking which is important but you also important thing is the time of incubation suppose the incubation time is only kept for 24 hours you are going to get a type of colony if you incubate it for 16 hours you get very less amount of colonies probably some of the bacteria won't, won't grow in this temp in this time amount if you grow it for uh, 48 hours you get a different variety of plate because remember uh, suppose a bacteria which is desired to grow at 24 degrees 24 hour at 37 degrees Celsius temperature you put them it for 48 hours they will grow very rapidly and for this amount of time they will just uh, fill this whole agar surface because they are very rapid at their growth so for those bacteria which is desirable to keep at for 24 hours you should not keep it more than 24 hours so if you keep it for more time they will grow and you will end up with a merged colonies in your plate so these are the things you should take care of also the temperature plays a vital role uh, the optimum temperature and optimum uh, conditions are very very important for a bacteria to grow 
for any microorganism to grow and for us to grow all, uh, obviously so that's why if you vary the temperature you may end up with different types of result if you vary the time duration you may end up with different results for but for getting isolated colonies it's also always desirable if you are dealing with normal type of bacteria that we used to uh, used to work with except for pathogens you can go it for 24 hours that's okay that's fine you can get good colonies right in the natural uh, simple agar medium obviously if you are taking different medium uh, the incubation time may vary right so these are the things which are important guys and i hope this video helps you to understand that thank you